As the third committee, we knew there was a prototype that sat for 20 years. And with that prototype, we know that Mr. Nash was commissioned to create that. Um, this prototype is just a little bit different from that. I'll let him explain the first prototype from the second committee. Because she was an itinerant preacher, we thought it was important to add the Bible into her hand. Um, she had a conversion with God during her life and changed her name from Isabella Bonfrey. We know that to Sojourner Truth. I want to go out and sojourn and then tell the truth. The, uh, the first prototype was maybe um, one and a half times larger than this. And as it sat on the shelf covering dust, it was, uh, I had a break in at the, uh, the studio. And whoever broke in severed the head off the original prototype. I came into the studio one day and it was sitting on the shelf and the head was on the floor and it was a, just a clean cut. I don't know who did it or why, but you know, I, I just came up with another one and that's when I uh, put on the Bible with it and because of the reason that she mentioned. I think her hands were showing a little bit more strength and I'll allow Mr. Nash to um, add value to that because I remember her hands before were different from her hands yeah. here. She would brag about how she could outwork and out out eat a man, and I just envisioned her, you know, working in the fields with these these hands, you know, that were rough and coarse, and and used to work, and that's what I wanted to convey in this piece. The leader of the second committee was Faye Hirsch Dambrot. And again, we do stand on every committee member from the first to the second, their shoulders. And she died unexpectedly. And with that being said, the first prototype then sat on the shelf at Woodrow's studio until it was damaged. And of course, we had to come up with this prototype as the third committee and wanted to make sure we just met all expectations to Sojourner Truth's life. Of course, the statue would be six feet tall because she was over six feet tall. We know that Bomb Free, her last name meant tall tree. And we wanted to honor her life's work and the conversion. So the hands, the strength that we all pull from as women, uh, being having a stronger hand here and then implementing the Bible because she was an itinerant preacher and relied on the Bible. She couldn't read or write, but she knew and she could hear the word of God and be able to articulate that and be able to interpret that and then be able to go out and utilize that as strips. A lot of times she said um, within her book that was written for her, um, God, you drive. And what that meant is as I travel, I know I'm in the midst of my enemies. I know this, but she would also say that the truth is powerful and it will prevail. He will protect me, although I'm in these troubled times, speaking on what's right for all women. But uh, we want to make sure we honor her life work here. <laughs>